Hey, what's the deal, y'all, man? Y'all already know what this is, man. I am your host, Dean. This is by any means. Y'all already know. I came here to talk about something a little different today. And I wanted to talk about the disrespect for black fathers. Black fathers, we are the most disrespected, un, um, unutilized, um, unappreciated people on earth. I know so many black fathers that do the most for their kids and the mother of their kids still disrespect them or their mother-in-law, father-in-law. It makes no sense. I know so many fathers who will do anything for their kid and their baby moms can do nothing but go down to the courthouse, still put people against you, still put you on child support. And it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. One of my, uh, one of my kids' mother... She claimed to hate me for years, put me on child support, and I bounced back, and all that stuff wasn't about nothing, and I'm everything good. And she was the dead out. She was trying to be cool. She wanted to be friends again. I thought I was the worst person in the world. They only look at us black fathers as a dollar sign, not as a somebody that raises them, not somebody as a parent. My youngest kids, they mom, she ain't did none of that stuff. But she has disrespected me to the upteenth plenty of times, plenty of times, plenty of times. And you know what's sad about that is her other kids' fathers, they're not even in their life. But I'm the one that get disrespected and I look out for all of them, whether we together or not. Still get attitude, still get disrespected, still got to argue sometimes. I'm tired of it from us as black fathers, y'all. I know I done seen some of my homeboys cry, man. And I done cried myself all because they can't see their kids and they good fathers. All because they moved on to another relationship. All because the chick got mad that, yo, let me tell y'all a story. One of my best friends, y'all, his dad um, had um, got a daughter, his little sister. My best friend, his little sister. My man's um, grandmother did his little sister's hair, sent her home. Her mom took all of her hair out, came back banging on the door. Don't be doing my daughter hair. Don't be, don't you dare touch my kid's hair and all this. Man, the whole family was about to go out there and dog walk her ass. People are that petty, y'all. People are that petty. You got people out here that really think that if a female got multiple baby dads, if, if one of the baby dads come over and, and buy something for his kid, he got to buy something for all. No, the hell he don't. He's not that kid's father. Responsibility is on everybody. It's not just on the person. If he's taking care of his, that's all he has to do. He don't have to do a damn thing else outside of that. We are mistreated. We are disrespected. We are afterthoughts. The court system is full of it. They don't care how good of a father you is. No. They still slap you on child support. They still say what you've been giving this woman is gifts. They still say that you're not going to get joint custody or whatever. It's, you, know, you know it's damn near impossible to get full custody of your child from a woman. You basically, the woman has to basically be a crackhead or that neglected for you to think about you going to get full custody. You got celebrities who rich and can't get full custody. What about she a nurse? People be like, nah, you can fight for custody. You can fight to get full custody. Yeah, I know. What if she's a lawyer? What if she's a nurse? What if she's not a bum? There ain't a judge in America that's going to take that child away from their mother. I don't care how good of a father you is. They automatically put mothers over fathers, but fathers are the only ones that go to jail for not taking care of them. Fathers are the only ones that are legally binded to the kid. Fathers. We are the only ones that are legally binded to the kid. Do you know that y'all not even the same type? Do you know you are more brothers and sisters? Say if y'all got you got brothers and sisters. Y'all got different moms and dads, though, right? Your brother who was related to you through your father technically is more of your brother than a woman, than, than, you, than your brother that grew up in the house with you. But you and him got different dads, but y'all came through the same mom. 
Y'all probably didn't know that, did y'all? Go Google it and look it up. We are the most disrespected people on earth, not only as a black man, but as a black father, because our black women disrespect us all the time as black fathers. You know how many people, uh, it, it's been so many women I've talked to and dated and they are tell me that they baby dad ain't this, they baby dad ain't that. And I just be sitting there wondering like, well, I know you ain't just get pregnant overnight. So he became all of this nonsense and you didn't see it coming. Women lie. A woman to tell you she ain't know about me and I'm the most honest person there is. I tell women what it is from the door, but she ain't run with this story. He ain't never tell me he was like this and he, that's a lie. No, you was getting your back blown out and you wasn't worried about that at the time. When your hair getting pulled on, ain't none of that going through your head. This myth that black fathers ain't in their kid's life when it's proven that black fathers that aren't in jail, that aren't dead, are more active in their kid's life than any other race of people. And we let them continue to go on with these lies, y'all, about us as black men, us as black fathers, and I'm tired of it. You see what Will Smith go, go through. You see what Tyrese done went through. You see what, and, and I ain't even taking up a blue face because he's a complete idiot, but you see what he's going through right now itself. His baby mom didn't even know to strap the baby up in the holster on the, um, on the carrier. Got the baby flopping out, neck all hanging out. Her, her both of his baby moms out drinking with the baby in the car. Didn't talk about, well, we're not going to drive the car while we drunk with a baby in it. Why go drinking when you got the baby in the first place? Look at what 50 Cent going through. 50 Cent put up money, all of his child support money. His son got mad at him for what the judge said he had to pay. And that's not good enough. When his son could have been respectful of his father and probably would be a millionaire multi times over, wouldn't even need his mom. But because he's such a mama's boy and listening to the, the bitterness of it, his mom has never accomplished anything. Compare her to 50 Cent. She got the boy so brainwashed. Me as a kid, I wouldn't even listen to my mom. Mom, I hear you. My dad is 50 Cent, though. I hear you, though. <laughs> Love you. Kisses. I got to go to L.A. Look at what King just did to T.I. Yeah, they might have made up afterwards. You should never talk to your father like that or your mother like that to begin with. What job you had? And then come to find out, y'all, he wanted to go back to the hood. He never had to go there. T.I. and Tiny wasn't, wasn't forcing him to do this. He wanted to be in the hood. He wanted to be something he wasn't, and his dad told him that. Look at LeVar Ball, how the disrespect that he got for trying to do the best for his child. We are the most disrespected people on earth, us as black fathers. There's only a certain few that really give us our credit, but it's us as black fathers. We are the most disrespected people on this God green earth. You got a bunch of moms who ain't nothing but get respect as mothers, but fathers actually trying to be in their kid's life. Got to fight, scratch, claw as if that is not equally his child. America has made y'all believe that the dad is not equally the parent to the mom when the dad is more biologically related to the child. Without your father, you don't exist. An organism has to come from somewhere first before it can be incubated. It has to come from somewhere. A seed don't just grow. You can rain, water, put sunshine on wet ground all day, but if there's no seeds in there, nothing is going to happen. I like to use this analogy. Women are the gun. Men are the bullets. A gun is useless without bullets. A gun is useless without bullets. 
you can use bullets for other things. I hope you know that, y'all. You can make bullets still be very dis disruptive and destructive without a gun. You probably ain't watched enough spy movies or did enough education to know what I'm talking about. But you can definitely still make a weapon without a gun and use bullets. But you cannot shoot a gun without a bullet. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because without women here to create, to procreate the kids, then you go in extinction. That's why you need the women. Because the man can't grow the child. He could place the seed there, but he can't grow the child. But once the baby comes out, the man is solely responsible for providing and taking care of that child, though. Absolutely he is. And that's why you get your father's last name. You're supposed to. Well, some women, they so disrespectful, they won't even give they kids, they father's last name. So these are things that I'm trying to get y'all to understand. Black fathers, we are the most disrespected people on this earth. Black fathers are the most disrespected people on this earth. You know how many times I get called the good father on a regular basis and still get disrespected? You know how many times I get called a good father on a regular basis when everything is cool, everything's fine, and still get disrespected? But you know what's funny? Nobody can control our kids the way we do. Nobody could come in and don't have to yell and just point their finger and the kid is stop. My kids are screaming and yell at the top of their lungs. As soon as I go upstairs and just look at them, yo, chill out. Hush it right up. That's why we should never be disrespected. That's why we... That's why, that's why we should never, ever be disrespected, be disrespected, period. Period. Because children will not grow up properly without the, the guidance of a man. Because, you know, the first thing they're going to say when they grow up and start to make mistakes that they don't see coming. Well, I never had a father there. I never had nobody to teach me. I wonder why. You might want to ask your mother why you don't have your father there. Because women dictate sex. Women dictate sex. So most of y'all dads wasn't y'all dads by not choice. Your mom wanted that person to be your father. And then she grew up and told you that he wasn't this, he wasn't that, but didn't tell you nothing about herself why she would like somebody that wasn't this and wasn't that. Do not believe nobody when they tell you somebody just changed on them overnight. They did not see none of this coming. They didn't know that he wasn't responsible. That is all lies. A lot of our dads was getting money, probably drug dealers, whatever. Your mom knew that when she was dealing with them. The fact that your dad may have got killed, he not here no more, locked up. She knew that that was a possibility while she was dealing with him. So for the, to not let him write you, or to be like, oh, your dad's a jailbird. That is corny. Because when y'all was riding around in the BMW, when you was having sex, when he was throwing money at you, buying your Gucci bags, it was all good. Fathers are the most disrespected, especially black fathers. We are the most disrespected people on earth. Everybody say they don't need us. But then everybody complain about how much they need us. You'll hear women talk about they don't need no man. But then it'll be the main ones talking about, I just wish my kids had a father. Can't have it both ways. You cannot have it both ways. It does not work like that. So it's either you're going to respect us as men and live with the result and live with the results of disrespecting us as men or not. But you, what you can't do is replace us. There is no replacement for it. There is no replacement for that sternness. There is no replacement for those life lessons. There is no replacement for that discipline that a man teaches a child. 
There is none. You know how many women I know that grew up without their fathers or don't got a good relationship with their fathers? Yes, they are going through a lot of trauma. A lot of mental trauma. So much mental trauma that they don't even know how to deal with men or respect men. And then wonder why their relationships don't work out. She don't even know how to have respect. She was never taught that. She was never taught to respect a man because she didn't grow up seeing it. Black fathers, we are some of the most loving. We are some of the most caring. We are some of the most put the most time in, make the most sacrifices. Because guess what, y'all? We already behind the eight ball anyway, just being a black man. So I want to give a shout out to all the black fathers out there that's in their kid's life, whether you on child support, whether you were going through a custody battle, whether you're dealing with a bitter baby mom, whether you're dealing with a crazy girlfriend, whatever you're going through, bro, just know I salute you, my dude. And they don't see you, but I see you. They don't see you, but I see you, my guy, because I know it ain't easy. I know you really the top of the food chain. I know that you really overcoming more than everybody else in America. Can't nobody fill our shoes. I see you, black man. If don't nobody else want to acknowledge you, I'm going to acknowledge you, black man. I see your pain. I see your tears. I see your hurt. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that is... um that rock with me, like, share, and subscribe, take time out, you know what I'm saying, to support my channel. We almost at monetization. So I just, like I said, y'all, we growing fast. This is why people be hating on me. It's all crazy. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I know people who couldn't get to damn near 1,000 YouTube um, subscribers, 2,000 YouTube subscribers in years, in a year. I done did this shit in, five, in, in less than a month. So let's keep the momentum going, y'all. Y'all already know what this is. Dean, by any means, holler.